Hello, this is uh, Industrials Instrument and Sensor 7 module. Now we are doing skill test number 2. The water that we see stated there. The greenhouse room temperature is very high and the heater did not turn off. Why is it wrong? What's wrong? So let's dive in. So now if we see the temperature now is 42 degrees Celsius. Common sense told us that this 42 degrees Celsius is quite high. The room temperature should be around 20 to 28 degrees Celsius. So in this case, the heater should not turn on. It should instead turn off because the temperature is very high. So if you have the PLC that you can assess, you can go inside the PLC logic diagram and see what is wrong with that. And it certainly helps to diagnose the problem. For example, this is a function block less equal or less equal then okay for the source a less or equal to b then this function block is true and it will be energized and the current can flow the virtual current can flow through energize both heater bank the virtual output coil and task because the plc output channel normally open switch to close and the real current can flow through that circuit and energize the heater contactor coil relay. In this case, the source A is actually, this is the source A, the temperature is zero, which is wrong because it's supposed to give 42 degrees Celsius as it did the temperature reading from the RTD and feedback to the PLC analog input RTD module number four, channel zero. So let's say if you do not have the access to PLC, you can use the drawing to find out the problem. Let's say before we do that, we go to the control room and see what is wrong with that. As you can see, the low low temperature alarm happened, which is not true because the current temperature is 42 degrees Celsius. It's supposed to give the high temperature alarm because it gives the wrong temperature alarm. It detected the wrong temperature where it, the temperature is low, so the heater turns on. Okay, by looking at the drawing, we know that something's wrong with the temperature. This is the RTD. Okay, so now the temperature that detected at the PLC analog input RTD module number four, channel zero. Okay, the voltage detection should be low as what we saw just now zero degree it means the resistance resistance here is very low thus the voltage is low which is quite abnormal because the local temperature should be 42 but it only give you a very low voltage here that's why I did that wrongly either the plc analog input rdd module cut 40 or the rdd having internally short circuited so we can measure the voltage across 0 a and 0 b usually we try to measure the voltage on the field side by looking at the wiring diagram okay we can measure the voltage between 0 a and 0 b or db27 or 8 here db27 or 8 okay so we can open the panel okay and then use the multimeter Sorry, it's a bit slow. Okay. RTD do not spe specifically indicate whether you're using DC voltage or AC voltage. So by default, we can assume DC voltage. Okay, measure seven. measure it okay 
now it gives you zero volt which is wrong because it should give you around one to five volt at the plc input side so most likely either the cuts having issue or the rtd having internation internally short circuit so we can do the iso isolation check check one by one we check the rtd first then we will check the plc uh, rtd module input okay so now to check the rtd we need to measure the resistance but resistance cannot be measured live so we have to shut down the power supply and perform the local takeout okay then We use a screwdriver okay and then we take, remove all the wire so that we can measure resistance across the load in one end open okay now the resistance is 1.53 this is not correct it should give you around 100 ohm because rtd using okay pt 100 platinum 100 meaning 100 ohm it gives you zero degree 100 ohm zero degree so the reading should be around maybe 80 plus maybe around 100 plus minus 30 maybe around 70 to 130 so it should not be lower than 2 ohm lower than 2 ohm usually means short circuit okay so we can go to change the rtd on site so we replace the rtd here Alright, now the resistance they give you is 117 is correct. So we can double confirm whether the resistance is a correct one or not. So now you know that is 42 degree is about 116, right? Yes, about 116. Very close to that. So now it shows that the resistance of the RDD is of the correct value so the root cause is the 40 of rdd okay so now we have to normalize back the wiring okay so we terminate back the wire maybe we can measure the voltage here okay the dc voltage here Okay. Oh, sorry, because just I forget to turn on the power supply. So after we change the RTD, we can remove the lockout takeout. okay now you can see the voltage is 0 0.0589 okay in order to prove that we can refer to the rtd table okay so now the temperature is about 42 degree we know that the voltage signal sent to the plc analog input rtd module okay the voltage is current time resistance current is always 0 0.5 0 0.504 milliampere so voltage is this current 0 0.504 milliampere milli, milli equal to 0 0.001 time resistance which is about 42 so we can prove that 42 degree is a 116.26 116.26 time 
zero point five zero four times zero point zero zero one. So you will get about zero point zero five eight six. 0.0589 yeah it's close to that so now we complete our troubleshooting